What happens when the pursuit of happiness through creativity takes an unexpected turn into the realms of anxiety, stagnancy, and doubt? This question resonates with many musicians, even the very best, as what should be a source of inspiration becomes a stale puddle of uncertainty. I have a few tricks that I do, that I have learned over the years, that helps me to overcome a creative rut. When I feel like I'm stuck, playing the same thing over and over again. The first thing that always works for me is to kind of rearrange or reinterpret a song that I'm familiar with, a song that I know, even if you wake me up from sleep. There's a song that I want to use as an example in, you know, getting my point across. It's an evil song. It brings me comfort, it brings me hope, and it's a song that I absolutely love. <laughs> like a regular five chord in this case like D what if you did something different or used a different voice in I like this chord or this what about this one ah, this one is beautiful so this can replace the five importance of trying new stuff and implementing new stuff. I usually don't use <laughs> a whammy bar, but I'm using one because I wanted something fresh. I learned a new whammy bar trick that I'm going to show you. Maybe it's not a trick, maybe you already know it, I don't know. And it, it goes like this. I think that that's beautiful. <laughs> so what you have to do is hit a harmonic on the 12th fret and then raise the bar up. So you do it a couple of times until you figure out where the bar is supposed to go, like you get a feel for it. And then when you get that down, you then use your two fingers, your index and your middle finger to push behind the knot like this. Remember that you're pushing the second string when you do everything together, it sounds like this. <laughs> and this, this stuff is just about your ears, it's about listening to, how, to, you know, you don't want to overbend it, overdo it, or underdo it. <laughs> so. Thank you. 
So this is your cue to add something new to your playing. Even getting a new pedal, like if you've never tried a chorus pedal before, you should try it. Or an envelope filter or wah-wah, a new overdrive pedal maybe. I've been listening to some Peter Frampton lately and I want to get myself a talk box. <laughs> do you feel like I do? Do I butcher the song? I hope not. I love that song so much. I was really inspired by it and I want to I want to try a talk box. I think that I would do a decent job. <laughs> trying out other kinds of instrument does wonders for me too. It could be anything. You don't even have to really know how to play. Just something different from what you're used to. If you feel like trying out a new instrument is too much of a hassle, the next best thing is to transcribe a solo or an improvisation from an artist that plays a different instrument from you. I have my eyes and my ears on the Michael Brecker solo, the one from Common Ground. I think that it is one of the best improvisations ever. Michael Brecker is crazy. I'll probably lose a finger from trying out the solo because, you know, it's Michael Brecker, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> it's also important to know when to take a break from it all. Sometimes, I mean, it's um, it's hard to admit it, but you're just tired, burnt out, and there's nothing you can do. You just have to wait it out. One of the ways that I actively wait out a creative exhaustion is by going for walks in nature. It always seems to have a positive effect on my outlook. Just watching the way that nature interacts with itself is inspiring. I also like to get some exercise in, go to the gym, get my heart racing, get my blood pumping, and these biceps are not gonna train itself. <laughs> I like to play with my pet, Ghosty. He's such a cool, cool cat. I also love to just chat with friends and loved ones. Thank God for social media. You open Instagram today and you see tons and tons of amazing musicians and guitar players. I like to watch them. I get inspiration from them. Get a hobby. Find things you like. Watch a show that you like. Watch some art. Watch an artist draw a painting. And if everything else fails, watch some Bob Ross with his little mountains and his little trees. <laughs> He's so cool. Music doesn't have to be a chore. We're supposed to have fun playing music, get inspired and inspire others playing music. It's not supposed to be a, a cause for confusion and anxiety and doubt. It's supposed to bring us freedom and enlightenment. You know, it's not that serious. I mean, <laughs> It's serious, but it's not that serious, and we don't have to take it like that. Those are some of the things that helped me. I just decided to list a few, but there are more. Maybe next time in another video. My name is Helen Bay, and thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.